Today's intention is for all fathers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Hedwig, a very charitable woman, helped anyone in need, the sick, the dying, the destitute. As we gather to share in the body of Christ and open the word of God, let us seek forgiveness when we've not been the charitable people that we've been called to be. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose gift blessed St. Hedwig, persevered in imitating Christ, poor and lowly, grant that through her intercession, that faithfully walking in our own vocation, we may reach the perfection you have set before us in your Son. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift. And the promise may be guaranteed to all of his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed. He gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would come to the father of many nations according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The descendants of Abraham, his servants, son of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. Through the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham, and by his oath, Isaac. For he remembers his holy word to his servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. 
Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. When God promised Abraham and his descendants that the world would belong to them, he did so. Not because Abraham obeyed the law, but because he believed. And so the promise was based on faith. In order that the promise should be guaranteed as God's free gift to all of Abraham's descendants. A woman grew more and more depressed as she meditated on Jesus' teaching about giving to others. An angel came to comfort her, asking, why, why are you so sad, loving child of God? The woman replied through her tear-filled eyes, because of what Jesus says about giving. Does the master mean I must give again and again without stopping? Oh, heavens no, said the angel. The master asks you to give to others only as long as God keeps giving to you. What was my last gift to someone? What was the reason for giving it? Today, St. Hagwood is a perfect example. She only gave what God gave her. She gave it out of charity, and she gave it from the heart. It's all we're asked to do as disciples of Christ. When we die, we clutch in our hands only that which we gave away in our lifetime. Let us join together now in prayer for the needs of our world, our nation, and community of faith. For the church, may the Holy Spirit conform each one of us to God's will and give us the grace to follow it. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all appointed and elected officials, may Christ show them the way of truth and justice in their leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are facing persecution for their faith, may the Lord give them the words and strength they need at the moment of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit kindle in us the fire of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the petitions we hold within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord Merciful Father, we thank you and praise you for your goodness. Hear the many prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. 
which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine will be human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in Blessed Hegwe, the new person, your image, and having the old order passing away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like her, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confessions of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Lord we bless your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles, martyrs, St. Hedwig, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul. My Jesus, I believe that you are most present in the Holy Sacrament. And I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray. Let us always in your love, through lead us always in your love through the example of St. Hedwig, and bring to fulfillment the good works you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The, mercy, uh, the mission of the church is charity. Our mission as disciples are charity, sharing what we have and helping others. So let's make that our goal and be charitable act today at least. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the good news. Thanks be to God. <laughs>